It's been a few months since I saw the national tour and I like to check in on all of the productions. So right now the show is running a national tour. We're here in Denver and occasionally you know, it needs a tune-up. The reason I check in is that I was there with the authors. So I know why things are done. So when new ca cast members come in, and we often get new cast members, sometimes they inherit the form, but I'm one of the few people who can explain, like, here's why we do it this way. Here's why it has to be this way. Then uh, there are stories the new cast members might not have heard that made their way into the production. So I kind of freshen it up that way. The name Anastasia, there were four daughters, but the myth it's not Maria or, or, or Olga or Tatiana, it's Anastasia, and the name means resurrection. And I think there's a reason, you know, why there's a story around Anastasia, because they know to them it means to rise from the dead, to do something that's for family audiences. If you think about it, it's not easy at all. The show begins with a little girl and her grandmother, and we see the girl in her 20s, and then there's the count and the countess, you know, who are in their 50s trying to rekindle their romance. So there's something for every age range, and that's a very, actually very tricky thing to do, and it goes to the source material and a lot of intelligent decisions made along the way. In New York, there was a huge international crowd to, that came to Broadway to see the production, and there were young women, emigrant women from all around the world, and I realized that's part of the appeal. In the beginning, she's all on her own, and by the end, she's elevated into a status of a princess. So it's a romance, you know. It's meant to give hope. <laughs> her past is a mystery. Her future is an adventure. Anastasia, the Broadway musical. August 7th through the 18th. Tickets at denvercenter.org or call 303-893-4100.